Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by eTech City. They are the number one fitness scale on Amazon. If your New Year's resolution is to get fit and get healthy, do yourself a favor and check out their holiday sales on Amazon. This scale has been essential to tracking my weight and fitness goals. Get yourself an eTech City scale as the perfect Christmas gift, either for yourself or for a Christmas gift to set up for success in the new year. Check out the link in the description box below for their winter sale. In this video, I was invited to teach a seminar at Brassard Martial Arts Academy, aka 360 MMA in Montreal, Canada. Before the seminar, I was asked by the owner and head coach Sifu Mark to spar with three of the amateur fighters who were preparing for their fights. This is Antoine, who is the Montreal Fight League lightweight champion and a beautifully timed inside low kick by Antoine, sweeping my lead leg out as I punched. I could tell Sifu Mark really wanted me to push them and get them ready for their fights. And since we were pretty even in the striking department, I went to challenge his grappling. So I went for my favorite head on the inside double leg takedown. Antoine does a great job at kicking me off and standing back up. Some nice back and forth exchanges here. Every time you get kicked, make sure you fire back with the cross straight down the middle. And Antoine does the same, ate my low kick and immediately fires back with a cross. I decided to try giving him a hard time in the grappling again, so I shot for another head on the inside double leg takedown. Antoine immediately gets his knee shield in, frames to create space, then gets an underhook and scrambles to his knees. I try to spin to take his back, but he does a good job at catching my leg. So I transitioned back into the chin strap position, but he was able to get to his feet. Nice leaping left hook by Antoine. And I get him back with a body cross to high kick. And here Antoine lands a low kick. And as the low kick bounced off my leg, I caught it and transitioned into a single leg takedown. Antoine does a good job at breaking my posture and holding me down. Eventually, I had to stand up to posture up, but he kicks me off. But not so easily this time. I caught his foot and dragged his leg and into my ground and pound. As I ground and pounded, Antoine stays busy on the bottom. Attacks for an armbar, which causes me to give him space and he goes for a sweep. He almost sweeps me, but I posted to bounce and ended up passing his guard and into side control. From here I saw the opportunity for an armbar, so I stepped over his head and into the armbar. But Antoine does a good job at defending uh -oh. by keeping his elbows tight and scrambling to his knees. I hooked onto his ankle and threw his legs over to the other side to continue fighting for the armbar. Then he defends by using the hitchhiker defense. He gets on top, passes my guard, so I hooked his thigh and scrambled to my knees, then stood up and reshot for a double leg takedown. Antoine stays busy and causes a scramble as I try to spin to take his back. And Sifu Mark stops the round as we went way over the time. And stop. It's okay. It's four minutes and a half. Next we have Salah, welterweight amateur MMA fighter. He's tall, long, and much stronger, so he's much harder to take down. I decide to keep it striking for the most part. Although normally you would want to pressure forward and get into the pocket of your taller opponent, it's a bit different when you see how long Salah's legs are. He can easily throw long knees or clinch knees to the head and body if I get close enough, but obviously he won't throw that in sparring. So I stayed on the outside and used my speed to land low kicks, then bounced back to the outside to keep my distance and to continue staying on the outside. By staying on the outside, I can be patient and wait for Salah to attack me, then I can counter. As I got more comfortable, I slowly started to pressure forward, but still kept my distance and playing the same outside game. Hands are gone. 30 seconds. I have no doubt that his up kick here was thrown to the head by accident, but it just shows how dangerous a man is when their legs are that long. We were in an inch away from replaying Lyoto Michida versus Vitor Belfour, or Chido Vera versus Frankie Edgar, or Michael Chandler versus Tony Ferguson. These up kicks end fights as we've seen over and over again in the past. I threw my low kick and into my double leg takedown, but beautiful takedown defense by Salah. He gets his underhooks and completely shuts down my takedown. He pushes me against the wall, but I reversed it and got his back against the wall. I stepped my leg in between his legs and went for a throw, but Salah defends by sprawling his legs back to the wall. I go for a double leg, but he defends again by widening his base. So I try the outside leg trip. He defends by hopping and balancing himself, but his legs became more narrow, which gave me the opportunity to reshoot for the double leg by squeezing his two legs together. 
Salah wasn't too sure what to do in this position, so I offered some tips. I don't, he doesn't speak English. We break up and start striking again. I pressured forward with some strikes, then I shot for another double leg. Salah defends perfectly with that underhook. This time I transitioned into a judo throw. Salah does a good job at scrambling to his knees, but I spun around to take his back and into some ground and pound. And stop. And the last round here is with Mo, another amateur MMA champion. Me and Mo go way back as he attended one of my MMA retreats in Thailand in the past. Don't be fooled by his size. He is extremely fast and explosive and he has some crazy flexibility with his kicks. My strategy was the same. Low kicks after low kicks. There's no way I'm going to successfully double leg Mo. See that? Like I said, Mo surprises everyone with how explosive and fast he is, as well as how he can easily swing his leg up to your head. You remember that move? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this new style of breakdown where there are no spotlighting or pause frames, just straight action with my breakdown commentary. As usual, I always appreciate your feedback in the comments below and remember to like, share and subscribe. And stop.